What's going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to scrape images and videos using a fairly new scraper in RetroPie called Skyscraper. Now before you make any changes to your RetroPie build, always do a backup. I've done a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not responsible if you corrupt your data for any reason at all. I have tested this on a larger build. Haven't had any issues with it. And I just want to show you right here. I've done it with one system so far in this build that I'm using. Everything came out fine. On my other build, it also came out fine with hundreds of games. We're just going to go into some of these. I don't have anything scraped, just to let you know. So this scraper is called Skyscraper. They do have a full GitHub with tons of information on it. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you run into any issues, the answer is probably over there. This is really easy to do, but you will need to be connected online for this to work, and you're also going to need a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi. So I've got a little wireless keyboard set up here. I'm going to scroll over to RetroPie and enter this menu. All the way down to RetroPie Setup. From here, we want to update the RetroPie Setup script. We're just going to press OK. Make sure OK is highlighted at the bottom. Yes. Give it a second to fetch the script. Click OK. OK. Now it's time to install the Skyscraper package. We're going to go to Manage Packages, Experimental Packages, and near the bottom here, as of making the video, we'll find Skyscraper. OK. Install from Source. Like I said, you have to be online for any of this to work. Installing the Skyscraper package can take a little while. I've had it take up to five minutes, so just let it finish up. So now that we have Skyscraper installed, we actually can't run it here. We have to quit out of Emulation Station by pressing F4 on the keyboard. And this is exactly what we're going to type in at the very bottom, except for the money symbol, Home. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. I'm just going to exit out of the RetroPie setup, back into Emulation Station. And from my keyboard, I'm going to press F4. It's going to bring up the terminal. Now this is case sensitive, so you need to type it in exactly like it shows on screen now. When you're finished typing it in, press enter. This is going to bring us back into the RetroPie setup script without Emulation Station running in the background. So we're going to go back to Manage Packages, Manage Experimental Packages, and we're going to find Skyscraper one more time. Configuration Options. Now we can enter the application and start using it. So I'm sure there's a few ways to use this, but the way I've been doing it is make sure I have download videos enabled if you want videos. Then I gather all systems or you can gather from a chosen system. And to select these, you're going to press the space bar on your keyboard. I don't want Arcade. I'm just going to go ahead and scrape all of these here. I've already got SNES scraped. I'm going to press Enter. Now it's going to start scraping. It's going to download the images and videos for me. Then we need to build the games list. So let this finish up. All right, so the data is downloaded. We now need to generate a games list. We're going to press Enter or choose OK. Scroll down to Generate Games List. Press OK. And we want to choose each one of the systems we just scraped. Remember, you can select these by pressing the space bar on your keyboard. I just scraped all of these. I left MAME and SNES out. I'm going to press OK. Games List is now generated. We can go ahead and exit. Back, 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 and we're going to do a reboot. One thing you might want to do is enable the OMX Accelerated Player. So press Start, scroll down to Other Settings. From here, use OMX Player Hardware Accelerated. Now I'm not sure if this is necessary for newer builds, but I'm on 4.4. I'm just going to leave that on. And I've also set my VRAM limit to 100. 
So now we should have videos for each one of the systems we just scraped, or images depending on what you chose. And this is actually doing a really good job. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I scraped a bunch of games earlier today, and every single one of them came up correct. Check links. So yeah, it's definitely working. And everything looks pretty good here. In my experience, Skyscraper works really well and it's a welcome addition to RetroPie. Hopefully they add it like officially, not in the experimental packages soon, but you never know. For now, it does work. Just showed you how to use it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, I recommend reading over the GitHub. If the information isn't there, you can ask me down in the comments. Really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always... Thanks for watching.